And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from a lovely little Westlake Village, California. It is the afternoon, two o'clock Pacific time out here to be specific. In two hours, the day will close, but I wanna start it off with the trade setup that um, is a bit of a slow mover. We posted in our Discord some time ago, and I think there's some really good uh, trade setups we're gonna go over today, perhaps. If we have time, if not, you can follow us on Discord. Join us on Discord right here, and uh, we, we're posting uh, trade signals all day long. Not all day, but you know when when the opportunity arises. And yeah, be a part of the group, be a part of the family. Join us on Discord. Link is in the description below. But CRV, Mr. Curve, is what I would consider an ETH beta play um, as. Yeah, this as more people stake Ethereum, you know, this this thing probably continues onwards and upwards. You know, ultimately, uh, this would be the deviation below the range, double deviation and bang. Uh, this one, when it does take off back above this level, it's probably gonna have a clear shot back up to the uh, top side of the range. And I think you could divide this one up pretty much like this, uh, little boxes of peace and prosperity and death and despair, uh, like this, boom, and this, boom, and you got the mid right here. So I'd be probably looking for that one to get hit sooner than later, something at about not 0.86, but a little bit more of a shorter term, a little bit late on this one. And a bit of a slow mover, so I wouldn't be surprised to see it hang out in this box for a little bit longer. Um, but I did want to offer that one up before we get into it. Uh, you can also, by the way, we're going to talk about Bitcoin price action and talk about that NVIDIA earnings report. Uh, you can also visit us on Twitter here, um, where apparently there's a lot of good information. And um, since... We're going to be talking about Bitcoin. We always talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, Ethereum noticing, well, I'm, I'm one thing at a time, Chris, one thing at a time. So, Rect Capital, uh, definitely a good one to follow. Uh, retest in progress and successful thus far. So, testing that pivot right there at 52,000, that's what we had been talking about for some time. I better add the good old Bitcoin chart up here. So we're pretty much at the same position we were. Uh, flip flopping around on the four hour time frame. Yeah, you know, I am looking for this one to turn up sooner than later. Um, as we're getting a volatility reset and uh, on the four hour time frame, we just don't want to start closing really below, I'd say, this pivot right here at uh, 49,870. Um, on a four hour time frame, you could front run that at 40,500, excuse me, 50,400. Um, and that would be get some continuation to the downside. But as far as I can see right now, it's pressured onwards and upwards. And it looks like there's gonna be a bit of a short squeeze going on as what is happening? Well. People are net short on Bitcoin right now, and there's that same bubble of liquidity we talked about yesterday at 52,700. As soon as we get above that uh, level, I'm probably thinking about a, a clear shot up based on that five day volatility play we've been talking about. And yeah, ticking below uh, last week's low at 50,153 or the, the five day low there. Probably not going to be the best thing for uh, Bitcoin if you're bullish, um, but that that could we get some continuation down to this nine exponential here. That is what typically happens as you tick below the last low and you got that nine coming in hot onwards and upwards. But what we'd really like to see, guys, in my opinion, if you're bullish, um, is we want to see uh, the well, uh, pretty much continuation from here or on the daily time frame, excuse me, daily time frame. Yeah. 
I want to see a little bit more. Yeah, guys, you can see this liquidity got filled. So the next area of interest is that 45779 area, uh, which is this green vector candle somewhere in the middle of there. And line it up with this high right here. Um, that, you know, may be a good uh, potential buying opportunity, not uh, financial advice. Um, so that's where we're at with Bitcoin. You know, basically looking at this $50,000 pivot, as long as this is onwards and upwards, as long as the nine and the 21 are still crossed up and not crossed down. This is, he gets the downside continuation, uh, at least for the short term. Um, also notice the 618 fib coming in or the 382 coming in here, not 0.5 lining up right with that green 55. So I do like that as an area of interest somewhere in this zone. Um, but you know, really quickly, uh, this thing starts to move onwards and upwards and that 382 fib is lining up pretty nice somewhere around 60,000 bucks. Uh, sorry, that's the 1618. So volatility is now declining and unless it starts to tick back up, which it could very well could and momentum will cross back up above 52,300 guys, 52,300. If we do see that alongside volatility tick up on the daily time frame, well, likely we're going to we get the entire move off of this five day volatility uh, expansion. So volatility is still expanding. The moving average is up and we're in the bullish control zone on the fire on the five day time frame. So all systems are still go on the all systems are still go on the higher term time frame. The five day uh, the weekly is looking bullish still. So this looks like a sideways and chop week. Um, Alongside, what else is going on? So summary of the NVIDIA earnings call. NVIDIA says, demand is still far exceeding supply for its products. Conditions are excellent for continued growth into 2025. NVIDIA spent $9.2 in cash on share buybacks. Data center revenue at $18.4 is a new record for the... Ex for the above expectations and NVIDIA has not received licenses to ship restricted chips to China and started to they started to ship alternative chips to the Chinese market in small volume. So NVIDIA is crushing it. And uh, yes, may the force be with you, NVIDIA. A rising tide lifts all ships and um, well, that stock just shot off to the moon. I was looking at it, but even comparing NVIDIA to Bitcoin um, in its entire history, uh, what you'll see is, where is it? Where is it? Where's my NVIDIA's? Da, 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 da. Yeah, there's so many good trade setups. I'm not gonna have time to go over them all today. You're gonna have to check back in with me tomorrow um, as I gotta be on my way, but I will touch on just a few ideas here on the orange list, Ethereum, um, you know, marching it on up to our target, which is the same high on Bitcoin at 3,500, um, especially if we can close above this trend line, looks like a massive wedge to me, um, probably gonna get some sell pressure on the first pass. So what I would like to see for Mr. Ethereum is a little something like this, and that's a break up here and then a retest. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but at some point, you know, we are gonna pull back on Mr. Ethereum. Um, and that, you know, the next daily higher low or weekly higher low on uh, Ethereum, very likely gonna be a pretty nice upside opportunity. I do want to check in on Mr. Adam Bomber here. And uh, <clears throat> this is why we use the Fibonacci tool uh, because, well, it tends to just work out pretty nicely. And so we got the bottom of the range, very similar setup to CRV, but uh, the consolidation of this range, you can see we just tagged the we tagged our 
618 fib rejected hit the 236 uh next target is the 786 and that's you know pretty much your long here with a stop loss right below here um if you know if i if, well i am trading this and i guess i will show you i'm running a lot of positions right now um on mr bybit by the way there is a link in the description below if you're interested I am enjoying Bybit and some of their features here, but I got a long list of nice trades here. And one of them here is, and some, most of them are in the red right now, which means if you were to hop on board with some of these trades, guess what? Uh, you would be able to get in at a little better price than I am. Um, so again, not financial advice. Um, not financial advice that's what i have to say okay back into what we were talking about um adam adam wow deep in the red right here it's a good it's only down 16 percent. that's it and sometimes that's what you got to do is take a little red uh to get into the green and this is another slow mover, but I do like the trade setup as of, you know, this would have been a much better buying opportunity. Bit of a FOMO in there at the highs, but uh, that's okay. Bouncing off the green 55. As long as this prior low holds coming in at 878, I'm looking at this as uh, a major buying opportunity. That's interesting. No liquidation price on this one. 878 on a cross uh, that's why it's crossed up it's a cross leverage position so um, another you know game changing thing that I've just cross versus isolated leverage uh, just something to keep in mind there but what else do I want to talk about all right so we got Adam and the way I'm looking at it right now uh, by the way, uh, it's like this. If you were to enter a, oh, that's a short position. I'm gonna go long here. Where is the long button? Okay, here we go. We do have a bit of a death cross there on the weekly time frame, but I'm gonna ignore that for now. And look at a uh, targeted move. Uh, I can't get the right button here, apparently. We got long, we got short, and uh, oh, it's a beautiful day out here in California. We are just happy to have some sunshine now. That was the right button. But overall, Adam is going to be a beast. Adam is part of the Neutron play we've been talking about. Uh, and I want to look at this on the daily for a bit of a better idea. But something like that, you know, a little five to one risk to reward opportunity and if you ask me i don't think it stops here i think uh there's a bit more to go there there's a three to one i would be looking for five to one in fact if you look at these were the all-time highs in 2021 where this thing got up to 43 bucks 43 dollars 43 dollars so where do these massive consolidations come up to the not 0.5 of the 618 so a weak bounce comes here, a strong bounce here to here. So let's target that area. That's that's the area, that's the one. And if we just take out that last prior low, okay, you can get stopped out. You know, I'm not talking about a leverage trade here. I'm talking about a spot trade for you guys out there. Stop loss right here, uh, below the prior wick. Range wick lows, right? Range wick lows you typically want to use, but something like that would be very, very nice in my opinion. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and post this in our Discord as a trade idea. And feel free to join us, comment, ask a question. Um, also, by the way, if you want to learn how to trade, want to learn how to use all these tools and set up trading view, we've got a really cool program called Crypt Courses where we actually help you and talk to you and show you, you know, where to go and what to do um, concerning setting up your trading strategy for yourself. Um, so you start at Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. 
Um, lots and lots of fun stuff. And it's free for 30 days, so you can take the whole course, cancel it before the 30 days, um, and uh, get a lot out of it. All right. Next up, I want to talk about Manta, which I did just take a little long nibble on this one. My targeted area of interest was this guy right here. We did not get down there, so guess what? Um, I'm not gonna leave it behind. I will slowly cost average in all along this position here. And yeah, that is the 618 coming in right there at the, so nice confluence there. I would be looking for this area to, uh, to you know, perhaps get tagged if we've already had the three runs to the upside, so maybe we get one more if momentum flips back to the upside above 76 cents. So today we will have a chance to do it. And this could perhaps be just a consolidation, not a lower high. To me, that is pretty much a lower high. So maybe it's a bit of a fake out and um, maybe not maybe not but that that one is something to keep your eye on because probably gonna have a big move up as soon as we close back above 79 cents mnt or mantle a uh, really interesting project something i do like for the long term as well so that's why i don't mind picking some up um and most of these things are breaking it up to the upside but we're talking about uh Potential buying opportunities for ICP, uh, which is part of that narrative, you know, the AI narrative, I would say, you know, computer cloud storaging. It's a internet computer, a full computer. Um, go read about that one if you don't know what it is. ICP, um, very, very interesting project and probably one of the best in its sector. Uh, Rune also. Again, looking for that 618 area of interest to get tagged and then, you know, retest this support trend line or yeah, support, which is going to flip to resistance. Um, also seeing that uh, it did it find support here a few times. Nope. No resistance flips and becomes support. So, yeah, that's the area I'd be looking for uh, longs off of. And so a lot of these things are getting close, but they're not quite ready not quite ready Solana looks like it does want to continue the march down to the green 55 and this would be one of our traditional buying setups as um, you're approaching the green 55 on declining volatility that's when you get the biggest bounces um, anyways I think that's enough out of me today okay we can talk about file file does not want to stop running file is uh, really parting to the moon here um, another good one is Woo. Uh, Woo looks good. Woo looks good for a run at the highs at least of 65 cents. Again, higher highs, higher lows confirmed. And will it look something like this on the daily time frame? What are the other AI coins that just really just ripped? I don't have them on this list. I, I'd say they're back over here. We got doggy sand. No, they're not here. Okay, here's the here's the one to consider. Uh, AR, part of the file storage narrative. Uh, AGI. Boom. Um, fetch AI. I'm just going over the the popular ones right now. You can always go to coinmarketcat.com and just search by AI tokens. And uh, as we are approaching the highs here, I am busy. Yes, I'm busy uh, right now. And as we're approaching the highs, you know, that is... I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. 
And I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. That is when you gotta make a decision. You know, am I gonna make or break it? And most of these things are just ripping right through the highs. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think is going to happen? Okay, there's a good example, AGI. Which that's not the oldest price chart for AGI, but uh, Ape Coin, another one that seems to be a bit interesting. Um, Ape Coin is part of the NFT collection coins. Um, it is the token of the Board Ape Yacht Club. Board Ape Yacht Club. If you guys don't know what that is, well, go check them out. These were the number one NFTs. Like the floor price on them was like a million dollars per ape. And so what did they do? They started their own token. God knows what it's going to do, but let's, let's go in there. Okay. Wow. I definitely want to go there to the Board Ape Yacht Club. Whoa. All right. Anyways, that's it. NVIDIA crashes through all-time highs. Oh, where are the bears? Oh, did Jim Cramer get it right one time in his life? Holy smokes, that guy. That guy um, poo-pooed on Bitcoin forever, and uh, I guess he's not eating his words there on NVIDIA and reminding us all the Bitcoin hack. The Bitcoin having countdown, 61 days from now. 61 days from now. So... Again, just reiterating our stance here on what's going to happen in this cycle. You know, typically the cycle. Oh, look at that. I drew it out for us. Every single macro reversal. Okay. As we are in a macro bull market now, right? What happens? You rally into the having, you get a sell off right before, right after and typically a run back to the 382. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Bitcoin tag 36K as everybody is still so hyped out of their mind over the Bitcoin ETF. But is it up first or not? And do we make new all-time highs and do something different? At any rate, who cares if the ultimate destination is here, right? Whether you're buying at uh, 57 or you're buying at 35, I guess that is a big difference. Uh, uh, but... Um, 37 to 250,000, likely somewhere around September 2025. And why is that? Every cycle, what I've marked off here, is 12 months before the halving. So from this low to the high, right? That was 108 bars. 108 weeks. 110. From this low to this high, 129 bars. From this low to this high, 133 bars. So let's just take an average, right? And every single time, what has happened? We have hit the 4236 fib, which is where those parabolic blow off tops happen, right around this zone, right? So reminding ourselves, what is the big picture? Bitcoin up. Okay. What is the make money, change your life money picture? This is it total two. This is all the coins excluding all the crypto coins, excluding uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. When this goes up, that means the altcoins are going up. And the next major level of interest is going to be the middle of this candle or the top of it before we even touch. And, and look, is the volume on that thing very big? No, it's not. <clears throat> so little sell pressure right here, but 
if you do see this thing continue onwards and upwards, you know what that you know what's happening. Bitcoin dominance also we've been talking about all year. Bitcoin dominance taking a leg up to this zone right here, which is again the 0.5 and the 618. Um, but as Bitcoin dominance goes down, well, you expect your altcoins to continue to party. So back on to what I would like to see for Bitcoin is I would like to see a little bit more consolidation sideways, right? And then a rocket ship back up to the moon. Uh, checking in on Neutron, tr attempting to put in a higher low. Uh, seems unsuccessful so far on declining volatility but what i do like is this is just the beginning of the party for neutron he's got a lot of room to go checking in on ethereum bitcoin uh we've been talking about this one as well you know this is the trend reversal for alt coins and i would consider this a higher low higher high higher low trend reversal we expect Ethereum to continue to outperform Bitcoin as long as this is intact. Um, and Chili's baby back ribs, man, I think we put a nice long trade out on Chili's. Um, it's somewhere in the Discord there. Feel free to go check it out. Um, Render also, this is why the AI tokens are smoking to the upside. Is Render making new all-time highs today? I'm gonna do us a favor. Coin Gecko. Coin Gecko. Coin Gecko. Not Coin Market Cap. We want to do Coin Gecko. Coin Gecko, the place where the geckos go and get their coins. It does have a bit of a lag time. I don't like that. But the data on this one. No! No, 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 no. Here I was talking you up. I don't want to deal with this right now. Coin Gecko.com. CoinGecko.com and it's not loving me at all. So I guess we're going to do coin market cap. And what I'm doing here is going to pull up the um, token render R N D R. So pat on the coin market cap back for that. Um, it does seem to load faster, but it doesn't have as much data. So just to consider when you're looking at uh, the chart here, we're not making new all-time highs yet. So this one's been around a long time. If you want to render your renders, if you want to render some data, that's so that's part of, this is like NVIDIA. Basically, this is NVIDIA, but a crypto. So render is parting to the moon up 9% today. And I would expect these AI coins probably have a day or two left. I, I don't think it's a buy the room, sell the news event. It doesn't look like it to me. And just checking in on CMEs. CMEs look bullish. We'll cross up above 52,599. So momentum is going to cross up in the futures market likely already has. It already has because the market is closed now and will open up not too long from now. Um, and that's something to consider. It's Thursday. Today is the most down day for crypto. Thursdays are typically down days. That means we got Friday and the weekend coming up. We're coming into the end of the month. So a lot to be excited for, a lot to be around for. Make sure if you enjoyed some of the content, you hit the like button, share it, post a comment. And I will be back tomorrow. I hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. Take care.